tissue. It conducts electrical impulses. Let's check if anybody's trying to get in. Nope. So nervous tissue carries electrical signals. It's for being aware of your environment, reacting to your environment, and it's composed of neurons and neuro, neuroglial cells. A neuron is a nerve. Neuroglial cell is a supporting tissue that uh, helps maintain the proper concentration of substances and helps support the nutritional needs uh, of the nerves. So you know what a dendrite is, cell body, axon, and synaptic terminals. So let's look at a picture of the nerve. Uh, as I said, the neuroglial cells uh, provide physical support, maintain the fluid chemistry around the cells, supply nutrients, and defend against infection. So this is a multipolar neuron. So a dendrite is a fiber that collects information from the synaptic terminal. So another nerve which, have a, which has an impulse would start communication with this nerve. So the receiving information that a nerve picks up starts at the dendrites. The cell body has a nucleus and it supports the cell, makes uh, new materials as needed. When an electrical impulse is stimulated, that electrical impulse always flows away from the cell body in this area called an axon hillock. And that will move uh, the electrical signal from the axon hillock to the synaptic terminals where the electrical signal will cause the release of neurotransmitters like epinephrine and ep norepinephrine and dopamine uh, and serotonin. So again, this is the cell body of a nerve. It has fibers that receive information from the synaptic terminal of other nerves. Uh, it carries information on the electrical state on the amount of concentration of, of sodium and potassium, for instance, and depending upon those concentrations at the axon hillock, an electrical signal can be generated to release norepinephrine or epinephrine to release neurotransmitters at the uh, axon terminals. These are called synaptic terminals or axon terminals. Okay, uh, we're not going to talk about these, even though uh, inflammation is what we're all doing to one another by eating animal foods, animal meats, and dairy products. So every time I ask my cardiologist what's going on, he says it's inflammation. So who knows why? Well, I will and there. Okay, so let's go ahead and uh, go back to here. Uh, let's turn this off for a moment. Stop recording. Uh, stop recording.